Hello everyone, this is another episode of Both Barrels. My name is Byrne, and this is my father, Curtis. Uh, we were supposed to have the other fellows over today, but they decided it was kind of too cold and rainy out to come out. But you had a special plan for them, didn't you? Yes, I was going to talk to them about port, and have the fancy little port glasses for them, and, you know, just surprise them with some wonderful wonderful port. Okay, so for port today we have this. This is, uh, boy, I don't even know how do you pronounce that. It's a Zinfandel port. Uh, Terra Doro? Terra Doro. All right, what can you tell us about this? Well, technically it's not a port. Mm -hmm. Just like a cognac has to come from the Cognac Valley, it, in theory, um, this is a, a dessert wine as mm -hmm. opposed to a port. Mm -hmm. the, the process is the same, but I'm, I'm going to slaughter this, I'm sure, but uh, the Portugal region called Douro, mm -hmm. that is where ports come from. Right. And we had a really wonderful bottle of port, but we drank it all when Leo was here. Yeah, it's really good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and that would have been a tawny port. Okay. And I believe this is a ruby port, a ruby style port. Okay. Also, it, you said it was a fortified wine. Right. As well. Okay, so ports mm -hmm. or, and dessert wines, what happens with them is they're put in the barrel, mm -hmm. and they start to age. And that age could be three months, six months, whatever they decide is right. Mm -hmm. Then they pour in brandy, and brandy stops the fermentation. But then they leave it in the barrel, or sometimes in the bottle, they put it in a bottle at that point sometimes, mm -hmm. and let it age in the bottle or age in the barrel, Okay. which it does. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is a ruby port, it stays um, it, it stays less time in the barrel. Mm -hmm. Tawny port is longer. Okay. And because it's longer and it's in an oak barrel, mm -hmm. instead of like a concrete or a steel vat, mm -hmm. uh, it will start to lose some of its color into the... Uh, and that's why it's a tawny okay. and not a ruby, because the ruby ports are younger mm -hmm. and they don't have the opportunity to have their color taken away from them. All right. So let's open it up. Okay, and we also have a couple different glasses here, so while you're pouring yourself some, why don't you tell us about these different glasses that we have? Well, this... and we're going to talk about the glasses a little bit, mm -hmm. and we're going to decide, well, I don't know if we'll really decide, but we're going to think about, does it really make a difference? Mm -hmm. So we have a port glass here. And this looks kind of like a, uh, well, it looks like a couple of different things, but uh, this has kind of a sippy cup look to it, almost. Well, it is a sippy cup. The idea being is to really get the port flavor, you need to take it from the bottom because mm -hmm. the top is exposed to air. It kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. So this is the way I would usually drink a port mm -hmm. in, a, in a nice small little wine glass. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can really smell the Zinfandel in this. It kind of has some of that um, a little bit spicy. The other thing about this is we're going to have to kill this bottle in about two to three weeks, even if we put it in the refrigerator. That's about all the longer it's going to last once it's open. I see no problem with that. Okay. Okay, so tried it out of a traditional sort of small wine glass. And now we take a sip and see if we think anything different in the taste. And they really, really lightly sip. You don't really suck a lot in like it was a big gulp. You just... Hmm. There's some... Um... It seemed like the flavors were a little bit more fruit forward through the straw. I might need to. I agree. This they were. Again. I really didn't think there would be that much of a difference. Wow, that is strangely different. I was not expecting it to uh, have that much of a difference, honestly. Um, the fruit characteristic kind of come. Yeah, it's it's a sippy cup, so it kind of makes sense <laughs> that the fruit characteristics might come through a little bit more with this guy. Um, yeah, the, the flavor is a lot more intense. intense yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder if there's some other physics involved with that because you're sucking it through a straw, maybe. Uh, do you think other things might taste differently through this, like whiskeys? Might. I don't know. We could try it sometime. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, the guys missed out on a nice port and learning about port. Mm -hmm. But um, went out and got these lovely port glasses at time. Uh, at uh, the First Avenue Winery from mm -hmm. from Tracy. Yep, First Avenue Wine, great place to go. We also get our wonder a lot of wonderful crackers there for our show. Yes. 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 And she suggested a 
a port. Her father is really big into ports. Mm -hmm. She suggested one, and we didn't open that today because I figured even though the guys aren't here, we ought to share it with them. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. Well, thank you for tuning in, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you have any further questions. And uh, we'll see you next time.